Let's talk about Turkey, a 98% Muslim state that wants to join the EU. Although 95% of its land mass is in Asia, the EU thinks that's a good idea and its membership is okay. They started accession negotiations in 2005, aided by the UK Conservative Party. Despite Erdogan's military dictatorship where he controls the judiciary and the media and his human rights abuses, the EU wants Turkey to join. The EU prides itself as a supreme leader in human rights, yet they overlook Turkey's abuse of human rights because to them only some human rights matter. This week, the EU Parliament, including me, voted to suspend Turkey's accession talks. However, out of 751 MEPs, 109 voted against and 143 abstained. There are many MEPs that want Turkey to join. It will happen. They will join. Remember, the EU lies. They told us that an EU army wouldn't happen, but it is. Already considerable amounts of money have been ploughed into this dangerous project. Brussels has allocated already and is spending 9.1 billion euros in preparation for Turkey's membership. Separately, Brussels gave Erdogan 3 billion euros to house Syrian refugees in secure camps during the refugee crisis. They're still there. I asked the then president of the European Parliament, Martin Schulz, if there was an audit trail of how the money was spent. He confirmed there was no audit trail. There was no audit trail kept of that whatsoever. Three billion pounds. Euros, not much difference. It's taxpayer money. And then last year, Erdogan asked for another three billion euros to Trouser, threatening that if he didn't get the amount of money he demanded, he would open the gates of the internment camps and just unleash the refugees on Europe. This suspension is only political expediency ahead of the upcoming European elections. It will be full steam ahead after the elections and Turkey will join. And then I fear, once Turkey's joined, they'll start accession talks for North Africa. Because this imperialistic expansion plan of the EU doesn't recognise borders or continents. That's what will happen. That's their future. It will be one imperialistic, enormous continent paid by you, the taxpayers. So Gerald, we've just been voting, we've just come out of the plenary and we made quite an important um, some votes on Turkey, accession to Turkey. Um, should we could tell the money that goes to them for their accession because millions have already been spent on language provision and paving the way for their accession. Now, in Brexit, we were told, no, you, you were liars. You're lying about Turkey joining. Do you want to tell the cameras, the people at home, uh, what the reality is with Turkey? Well, what we voted here was just show. Officially, the place is still trying to get Turkey into a membership of the European Union. Uh, and of course, there was this uh, uh, U-turn in the Turkish policy uh, after the so-called um, coup, military coup. Erdogan became a dictator. And he uh, put hundreds of thousands of people out of their job or in jail, uh, journalists, uh, whoever, you name it. Uh, it is not a democracy anymore. So now this European Union is, is, is troubled by the facts that are occurring there in, in Turkey. So they vote a resolution saying, OK, they should do this, they should do that. But the thing that they should do is stop these negotiations and never talk about it anymore. Turkey is not a part of Europe, never will be a European country. And so stop this uh, negotiating thing. Uh, what people don't know is that the train has not stopped. This resolution is just... Uh, an excuse to go on. Oh, absolutely, and I've, it's, it's quite chilling because I think Erdogan said this week that any tourist that criticised his country would be arrested or actually kicked out. Um, that's not something we, we, we are subscribed to in the European continent. You know, it's free Western values. And the majority of Turkey, of course, is in the East. It's in Islam. It's not actually in Europe. So their expansionist plans is going way beyond the boundaries. Well, the problem, of course, is why don't they stop this whole uh, Turkish uh, thing? The problem is that uh, uh, some very important governments, 
in the western, uh, western part of Europe are under pressure of the Turkish minority in their country. So like Madame Merkel uh, and, 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 and also in France and in Belgium, uh, politicians are under pressure because of Turkish the British minorities. Ch the British Conservatives also backed. Okay, the so uh, uh, that explains why they still continue saying, okay, let's follow the Turkish ag agenda, although nothing is still, is still in order uh, in that country. So people, this is a fight. This is a fight for European Western values. It's a fight for our culture and our identity against mass migration, mass taxation. If you value what we have in the West and what we actually have in Europe, and that's not the same as the EU, then you've got to vote these people out of power. And come the May elections this year, please vote for the parties such as Salvini, Marine Le Pen, Geert Wilders, H.C. Stracker of Austria, and let's get these people out of power now and take back control of our continent. If you want to see more videos from me and the rest of the Rebel team, please like and subscribe. You can also hit that little bell symbol to make sure you never miss another video. Thank you.